coming up then in just a moment, we are going to hear from Elio Pace. He's best known as Billy Joel. He performs Billy Joel's songbook. He is UK's piano man. Uh, not been able to perform, of course, as so many haven't, but he has got an outdoor show coming up. It's sold out, but he's managed to do this with the help of some friends. He'll be telling us all about that in just a moment. So had a nice message in, actually, about to Elio. Uh, Emma got in touch. Lovely to hear Elio is going to be on your show. We are travelling down from Durham this weekend for the event and can't wait. My five-year-old son, George, loves Elio and this will be his first concert. We're also very excited. Emma, we're going to chat to Elio in just a moment, but to get you in the mood for that concert you're heading to, here he is with We Didn't Start the Fire. Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific. Elio Pace performing there from Billy Joel's song book. That was a live DVD from his show. And I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Hello. Hello, Carla. It's lovely to be here. It's lovely to have you on. And what a fantastic performance. I'm a big fan of Billy Joel. And that that is amazing. That is wonderful. In well, fact, I think that, that live show won an award, didn't it, Elio? L- last year... Yeah, we we put together a DVD of this Billy Joel songbook show, which I started about five years ago. It was two thousand six years ago, 2014. I'm a massive Billy Joel fan, have been for years. Waited and waited for someone to do a show. There was nobody doing it. And then I put my money where my mouth is. And I put together a show called the Billy Joel songbook. And it's not a tribute in the sense, Carla, that, you know, I don't go out looking like Billy Joel. I don't dress up like Billy Joel. It's me doing his story. I tell you his story and how he became famous um, what I believe underpins his genius and, and all that sort of stuff and um, and how he got signed. And we, we it's packed full of all these incredible hits that, you know, that you love and stuff. And, and there isn't a Billy Joel show like it in the world. In fact, we are the only outfit still six years on that is performing Billy Joel's music to this level, traveling around uh, not just the UK and Ireland, but we've done Europe and uh, we plan to go further afield next year. And yes, last year, having made this DVD, um, which I'm very, very, very proud of, I uh, we got um, we won this award at the Independent Music Awards in New York, of all places. It's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, talk about shipping coals to Newcastle. You know, it took a, <laughs> an Italian Brit to, uh, to, to, to go over to New York Unbelievably, Carla, I won that award on exactly the same night. It was Saturday, the 22nd of June last year. It was the same night that Billy Joel was in London performing at Wembley Stadium. It was, the irony was just amazing. It really is. That is it's a fantastic thing. And of course, um, Billy Joel, hugely popular, big shoes to fill. Was it nerve wracking to, to make the decision to go out? And I know you're not yeah. sort of a tribute yes. or impersonating him, but to go out and perform his songs. Yeah, I, that's a really good question. Yes. And in fact, I was just speaking to somebody about it the other day about it. You know, that taking on Billy Joel's legacy is no mean feat. The guy to me is the greatest singer songwriter of all time bar none he is the greatest he's the most versatile he's the most talented he's the most overqualified rock star there ever has been he's he's a brilliant singer a brilliant piano player a brilliant writer a brilliant arranger a brilliant performer uh and he made 12 in uh, he's still with us he's 70 odd now But he made 12, only 12 albums in the time from 1971 until 1993. Uh, The River of Dreams was the last album. And uh, in the last 20 odd years, he hasn't done any more pop music, says he doesn't want to do it anymore. But he's left us with these 12, in my view, immaculate studio albums. And uh, taking on that legacy was quite something. I I don't take it lightly. I just felt Carla that I had to do it I just had to do it because I love the music so much and in my opinion a lot of music today isn't as good isn't anywhere near as good and and I just couldn't just watch this incredible songbook die you know I know it gets played Uptown Girl gets played we didn't start the fire the longest time tell her about it Piano Man we hear them on the radio all the time but there's so much more to Billy Joel as well as those amazing hits, which I love. There's so much more. 
And doing this show over the last five years has been an eye-opener. The, the following we have now, the wonderful Billy Joel fans out there, as I say, not just in Britain, but in Europe as well, where we've been, but, but certainly here in Britain, the Billy Joel fans that must have felt the same as me. They must have gone, why, why can't we go and see Billy Joel live? You can, but he doesn't really want to do that anymore. So he doesn't even do that many concerts anymore. So I really had no, no choice. It was a calling. It's been sitting in the back of my mind for over 30 years. And as I say, in 2014, we took on this uh, this legacy, and uh, and I'm absolutely loving it. When we get to the show on Sunday, it, it it will feel like the first time all over again for me. Well, let's talk about the show on Sunday because, of course, so many of of your uh, concerts, gigs were were cancelled um, as as other musicians, so many other musicians yes. are, are having to to go through at the same time. Uh, but you yes. have got an event at Mattersea in Nottinghamshire, an outdoor event, and you've had a bit of help getting this on. Oh, well, a lifeline. This is my lifeline gig. That's what I'm calling it. Because like all the other musicians and and uh, actors and, and dancers and all these people, we've had everything taken out. Not just a few, but everything. When that happened in, back in February, March, that was it. Everything. And I had tours lined up for September and October. Um, we were going to announce something very special in November, which I can't even announce now because we've, they've moved it to next November, but everything has gone. And then out of nowhere, I was talking to a dear friend of mine called Steve Piper. And uh, I said to him, he, he asked me, he literally said, how's it going, mate? It must be pretty tough. I said, it is pretty tough. It's weird. Everything has gone. It's just the weirdest thing. I mean, it has its ups and downs. It, it has its positives as well. I heard your lovely Paul chat earlier on about, uh, you know, the, the joy of being able to be with your family nonstop. But I mean, that's just been amazing. But I said, look, uh, I'm, I'm just about to ring up 50 of my friends and see if I can charge them some money to come and listen to me sing in my back garden. And he said, why don't we do that? except in my back garden, which is 22 acres, and you're welcome to it. Why don't we organise a concert? And I, I was like, are you kidding? And he said, no, I'm not kidding. Let me talk to my wife, Juliet. And he came back within about 10 minutes and he said, we've cleared it. Do you want to do it? I said, yes, let's do it. And so we're putting on this concert. I'm so proud to say that the first show, we were going to do one show on Sunday, it sold out in 18 minutes. We've added a second show to the day after. This is Bank Holiday Monday coming up. And um, um, we've nearly sold all those tickets. There are some available if anybody wants to come. But that's how it came about. This guy, Steve and Juliet Piper, have literally done everything they possibly can to not just support me, but the arts. My band, my sound engineer who lost everything, my uh, my lighting guy who lost everything, He's given us, this little group, a lifeline, and I am so, so grateful. Well, we are grateful to you for, for performing. I know you've, you've been to, to Lincolnshire on many an occasion and performed in, in our oh, yeah. venues, uh, many still yeah. in the dark at the moment, of course, but I'm so pleased that you're yeah. able to perform at this outdoor event, and I'm sure you'll get uh, people from, from the county travelling over. It's not too far away, I know, in uh, Nottingham at Mattersea it there. Um, but thank right. you so it's... much, Elio, for chatting to us about it today. And hopefully we'll get you back on to talk more about the show when you, you're doing more of your gigs in the county. It'd be lovely to have you back. I would love to. And thank you to you and to Alison, your producer, and to BBC Lincolnshire for having me on at such short notice. I really, and we all really, really appreciate. Thank you for everything you guys do. No, thank you very much, Elio Pace there, who is performing on Sunday, now Bank Holiday Monday as well. It's at Mattersea in Nottinghamshire. Have a look online, the Billy Joel song, but you'll find out how you can get tickets. There are just a few left, a handful left for Monday's event. I know he's hugely popular. Billy Joel's songbook sells out every time it comes to Lincolnshire. But lovely to chat to Elio about the show. And hopefully if you're going, you will absolutely enjoy it.